Hey guys, I have another video here for you and I'm actually supposed to be out mining but for some reason I seem to do my best stuff or find my best stuff uh, when I'm obligated to be somewhere else. So here we go with uh, another video. This one um, I think you should probably watch to the end because it's actually pretty important in my opinion and it shows stuff I haven't shown before and it's you know it's kinda of satisfying watching these things line up I don't know about you but it blows my mind so this is pretty cool because I've been wanting to work on this area for a while and I did I was working on it before I got stuck on the last video I made and I also think that there's like a there's a disconnect between me and maybe some of you that are watching this because I work with this so much. I know these things like the back of my hands. And I always forget to mention that the movement that you're going to see in this video, in this area, uh, will be can be replicated in other areas. So it's not just that I'm matching up patterns here. I'm matching up movements too of those patterns. And I see patterns of certain things over and over in the sur surface features so I already kind of expect certain things and then when I see them well I know that this is related to four or five other places around the planet and those are the things that the people that watch these videos don't know they don't see that part they're just seeing what I'm doing at the moment and that's kind of unfortunate because it does take away the 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 big what, the the greatness of it I guess I don't know how to say it I, to me it's greatness because like it blows my mind like my mind it just blows like certain alignments and this is one of them right here and this one's pretty amazing actually this is fun for me because I get to use uh, I get to see beyond my boundaries basically I get to use my mind without you know like looking through its own bias there's something powerful about that and I want to just point out a few things really quick about this area and why I think it's so unique and special but you'll see the you know the I've pointed this out before that uh, you don't live near mountains that look like this I guarantee you that there are no other mountains on this planet that look like this and believe me I would know and what makes these mountains unique and one of a kind is the fact that they're the same width and they're smooth basically smooth from this height and they run like rope what makes them even more unique is that unlike other mountain ranges these mountains wrap around each other like twisting around you can see this one going over this one When's the last time you've seen a mountain range like that? You haven't, because I haven't. And not only are they twisting around each other, but they're also pinching off and, and breaking apart. And in the electric universe theory, they, they call this a Z-pinch with Birkeland currents. And I'm going to show that right now, what Birkeland currents are, just in case you don't know. But they look like this they wrap around and they're electromagnetic plasma does it and that's what i think this is what's causing these features is plasma and these are like i believe this is happening at the core of the planet it just looks like that it's like almost almost a no-brainer it's weird because like even the electric universe people they don't see this and to be to me this is a no-brainer I, I, I see this going over. I see this going under. I'm <laughs> Birkeland currents. <laughs> that was, it doesn't, other than that, because what else could explain that? There's no, I mean, I have no idea how plate tectonics would try to explain uh, rope like mountains wrapping around each other and, and that look like when they did released a ton of electricity. You can see that in the features. Look, it looks like electricity just melted the crap out of these as it pinched down which is a common thing in plasma but for some reason I just happen to be the one guy on the planet that can see this I don't know why that is 
Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe that's it. Maybe I'm crazy. But here's the fun part about this, though, is that I'm going to pull up a map right now. It's, it's uh, a subduction zone map. And it's going to show you the areas. You can probably see it right now. You can see areas that have uh, little triangles in them and they point to the direction the plate is moving underneath another plate and in one of those maps it's showing that this plate is sliding under this right here this continent and this other plate right so if that's true should there be a reoccurring pattern of this image anywhere on this plate that's coming this way and if there is it would mean that they are related somehow right they were either together somehow if they match up they are related and you can't I mean does it make sense to have matching features on a plate that's going to be destroyed underneath this plate and then well we can argue about whether they match or they match or they don't match but there is a point to where you have to say that there's something going on. So let me show you what I'm talking about. And this is where it starts to get fun. And also I wanted to point out before I get going on this, what may, this area is very complicated. So it's so complicated that when I, I was trying to, the last video I was making, I was trying to make on this before I got onto the other uh, subject. Um, I can't actually remember. I got, I you know, I, I what I'll do is I will move things around and I'll look for alignments and then the alignments will show me uh, other things going on. It'll actually tell me, it'll show me uh, parts of our past that you can't see until you line them up, and they help explain what's going on here. But it's complicated, and um, I don't know if I can uh, replicate what. I figured out last time so that's basically I'm um, we're in a way we're kind of going through this together even though I did kind of run through this but I'm still lost when I think about it but I want to show point out something here you got Birkeland currents right and you got this well it looks like it's going left and then right and then straight but in a three-dimensional uh, situation say if this is at the core of the planet these features aren't going to be flat like this and that left and right is probably going to be rotation and you can see that when you look at it all right it's just like this is where you got the you have to see through that that bias i know it looks flat i know that i get it but what if these weren't always flat because i mean you're looking at mountains that look like uh, rope twisting up and it looks electrical so it's not that difficult to think that maybe these are twisting and something broke right there right and then you look at under here you look like you got broken features and you even something looks like something slid and cut something off right here and something seems to be missing or something right I can tell that this is twisting. Uh, when I see these kind of features, I already automatically, maybe it's not good to do, but I do it. I assume that something rotated through here. So anyways, let's get to this. I'm gonna show you something pretty cool. Okay, I wanna point out something here. You see that they're wrapping around each other, but also in between these filament looking mountains, there seems to be, well, a lake, a depression. It looks like something may have rotated counterclockwise. And then you see, uh, well, you see like an outlet to the ocean. Now, what I want to do is, well, what happens if I just simply take this image that actually kind of doesn't look really like anything like this right but it does have this round circular depression that has a line coming out of it so it, it kind of only makes sense to take this is what I do I take I'll take uh, I'll see that 
and then out of curiosity I'll take a snapshot of this and I'll simply rotate it and I will line them up and see if if there's some kind of relationship that's that's how this all got started by the way because I that's exactly what I did six years ago and I was shocked it didn't take me it's weird just like I, I can just look at this and say Berkeley currents well, when I overlaid the images and I saw they're related, I well, they're related. I could see that they're related. They can't. They're not supposed to be related, but they are, and that's what got me started on this whole thing. I had no idea that I was looking at images of the planet's creation, though. So let me go get those overlays, and we'll see what happens. Okay, pardon my mess here, though. I got all these little cut pieces that I you would not believe what I was doing with this stuff right here um, trying to figure out the I was trying to figure out this the spinning here and then how it was really complicated so that's why we're gonna have to work on it together on this I don't know how complicated I can get with it I mean look at all these pieces right here this is, I mean look at how the different angles all of those were done for a specific reason to find out certain things the secrets basically what's going on here so Okay, let's zoom in. As I promised, this lake right here. And let me zoom out so I can get the whole freaking thing in here. And let me see if I can move it over a little bit at least. So I'm going to take this. And I already have this pretty much adjusted to the angle of that. And we're going to see if there is some kind of strange relationship here. There, I lined it up right there. You can see it right there. Well, when I look at it, I do see a relationship, but I see lines showing what I, I've been learning is m movement. And you can see, look at the, the shape here. Look at the, the V right here. I wonder if I can make this transparent. Hold on. Okay, yeah, I did this. I forgot that I can do that sometimes. It's kind of helpful because you can actually really see through the really good. And I'm not trying to to uh, manipulate any. I'm trying to show the truth here. So, okay, so I line that up. You can see that there, well, especially when I start moving it, because this is moving through, you can see the relationship. But... It's more than just an alignment. This tells, it reveals stuff that happened back then. And I'll get to that in a second because I really want to push the point that these are related. Because if you can agree that they're related, well then, what's this subduction zone doing here? Because uh, this has been pulled apart. So why is it coming back? So look, if you will, you'll see that actually this matches in amazing ways. Um, as usual, this is a. I this happens with this uh, pattern. Every time I find an alignment with it, um, I can move it in and out, and it will. It's weird. It it'll, it'll rematch. So there's something with that. It has something to do with the expansion of the growth. But you can see, I like the look of this for some reason. It always looks like an eye right here and a mouth or something. And, you know, that's what I look for when I do these overlays on it. But look at the... Right there. And then there's another depression right here next to this. So you can see how... This is when I, you know, I, I would get cocky because... I know that people, you know, I, I, some people tell me these don't align, and they have no idea on how well they align. They they align so well that they align multiple ways, and you can see that as I'm bringing this in, it matches again with that eye thing. And then you can see this triangular piece right here. It's it's definitely gonna match up there, and with that thing right, the the that lake. But there's something unusual about this that I wanted to point out. 
where was it? When I lined it up here, it's this. It doesn't even look natural, these lines. But it could be related to some of these features that are embedded in the features here and possibly, oops, here, I'm not sure. Wow, look at the like the electrical current running through this. You can tell that electricity is wrapping around these plasma currents right here. That's what I believe that's doing this is plasma. You can even see the high temperature melting that took place. Um, you can see, <laughs> I always think of these as uh, maybe a plus and a negative sticking out, you know, like wires, like jumper cables or something, you know. But this weird it almost looks like it can't be natural right look it really stuck out more on the other the colored one I think but when I line that lake up it does seem to fit in a little bit with the features so maybe it is natural but dang it it, it to me to be honest this looks like it's it's you know man-made or something but huge it would be huge whatever it is if it was like a you know like some kind of a, I don't know, fortress or something. I don't know. Okay, so. Remember, this is moving back and around, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to match up here. And the broken piece right here and the broken piece right here is what trips me out a little bit, too. I think it lines up. If I remember correctly, when I was working on this last time, see how it keeps matching? Yeah, okay, it almost goes into that eye thing right there. See how everything seems to revolve around that eye thing? You can see right there, right? The triangle. Okay, you can see that this eye is a triangle shape you can see that this is like a triangle shape right here and why would it be the same exact size as that triangle shape right I mean what are the odds how many triangle shapes around this planet do you think there are that are the same exact size and one of them sits on the other side of a subduction zone that's coming this way. See, even this is kind of hard to look through now. But you can see what I'm talking about. You can see the, the triangles here too, the big triangle right here. You can see that right there. You can see them lining up and then they line up in other areas. See things line up. And then that depression is over here and it looks like there's the, like a this is related to the depression this may have sat inside of there it made a it may have filled that depression and it looks like the result of spinning too if you look at it correctly yeah you can see the spin the spinning shape is actually a depression right here so maybe that's what it's lining up with and it looks like this broke off this looks like it could have been that these were connected and it's twisting and it snapped off that's what it looks like to me and then this looks like then this up here have, has peeled off and then so let me bring this overlay and see what I can see about that see I have to cut a lot of the stuff out usually I do this for freaking hours like I'm not even kidding it's but the only reason I do that is because I feel it's that important nobody seems to see this nobody seems to understand this and um, and I find that alarming you know and I you know I, I feel like it's my, <laughs> my my duty to tell people but it's kind of weird when those people can't see it either but it's obviously lining up 
And here's the other thing is that because of the, you know, the years that I've been working with, you know, the surface features of the planet and seeing things over and over again, well, I already know that this is related to Yellowstone Park. I already, I already know that I can take, without even, not even doing it, I know that I can take this up to Yellowstone Park and the Grand Canyon and I can make it match up. And see, that's what I'm saying. There's certain things that I already know ahead of time because of, well, I know these features like the back of my freaking hand because I work with them for hours every day. Other people don't. So I, I get it that they would have a hard time seeing what I'm showing. But what I'm showing you I, is I'm is the truth. Okay, so sorry about all that. I just got to get that shit off my chest sometimes. Because it is weird. It is. It's weird um, trying to convince people uh, that they can't tell, they can't see it. They don't. And it's like, oh my god, what do I do? What do I do? This makes me panic sometimes. So, uh, see, what's weird is you got these. They look like teeth. You know, they're like like molars or something. I don't know. That's they're they're. To be honest, I find it odd that they're in. It's like a synchronicity, you know. But. Spinning Birkeland currents would do something like that. They, there's times when they wouldn't look like rope, but you would see the the very furthest edge of them, and they would they would come up as like that. They're like braids. This could be the side of them. It could be the the furthest part out from them when they're wrapping around each other. And this is all you're seeing is this. You're seeing bumps in line, but what's really going on is this is twisting around. Like these are twisting around each other. You'll see that theme a lot. Same things with these islands right here. The way they're in sequence, it could be because you're only seeing part of what Birkeland currents are doing. They're spinning around each other, but they're they would lay that out in order. And what's trippy is, well, if I had the whole shot right here, you'd see that this would get bigger and bigger and bigger, as the, as if they're increasing in size which explains some things about our planet that they are unaware of. I, in my opinion, it's only a matter of time before it becomes their opinion, I hope. It's like you can almost see that these are making contact here. And you can almost see that maybe that this is related to what's over there, yet it was over here. I think I need a different piece, hold on. Okay, I got my miniature version here there of those alignments. Remember the the lake? You know, and there's something trippy about I know there's a couple of my subscribers that also see this, but when when they line up, it's kind of like satisfying, you know? It's kind of I don't know, it's kind of nice like that you know you can see oh wow it just kind of just stands out you know and it feels important you know to me okay I remember I was I was toying with the fact that, that if this is rotating around and this hinge right here you can see this if this had not only rotated around but flipped around because of the way this is shaped I wondered what it would look like if I lined them up that way up here and you see this I always think of this as a mouth and a lizard or something like that but if I rotate that see this is I can tell that this is this is a hinge, and this is somehow spinning and rotating. I can tell just by the shape of it. So I'm thinking, well, what happens if I line that up with that, right? Like it, it's like it rolled around. And what's trippy is that when it lines up with that underlying feature, you can see that Birkeland current filament lining up perfect with the 
background images on Florida and America almost as if these were connected and that what's trippy is that as that lines up there you got Cuba looking very similar to some of these features under here and then on top of that you got these finger looking things right here well I think those are responsible you see these these little points right here they're related I'm sure of it they're just not underwater but you can see that okay let's see if I can find something else here you got two rows of islands right or well you got the run, one row and then you got this inner thing right here I kinda think that they either wrap you know when it rotates around I don't know it, this is kinda hard to actually see but in your head and in my head too but the strange thing is is that there seems to be though some kind of play interplay with that and I'm sure it keeps rolling but see look and then the strangeness of this fitting in here it actually it looks like it needs to oh yeah it does need to rotate hold on that's why I'm having trouble there we go now things are starting to get weird because they're starting to match up even better than I could have thought it does seem like this did ro well I you know I already kind of know that this did because I'm I can I can take uh, I can take South America and I can fit it right up into here like it broke away yesterday with zero zero erosion between the two areas fitting so good that it's unbelievable actually but if they do fit and sorry about that but look so if this was to rotate around look how it comes in and you can see that there's something strange going on and even with that triangular triangle eye I'm sure this rotates more but you can see the similarities right I'm not sure but you know and then look if this is the road okay okay we got this far all right line up mysteriously with the the feature I bet you it lines up here again what gives it away is these marks on America oh yeah look how the that rotating sea or I mean a lake or whatever Sorry, this gets out of hand. I know this is usually don't show this this kind of stuff, but you can see the twisting going on. This is all the result of twisting. And the way I show it, it, it could be uh, what do I want to say? Uh, it could be happening the same it could be happening the way I'm showing it but it actually looks different because it's in a different place when it's happening and I don't know it's something I have to explain somehow but okay this is when things take an interesting turn because as you know that this is a subduction zone and then you got these markings over here that are lining up beyond the subduction zone onto the other plate and you can actually see that the movement that I'm showing you here is basically written on the bottom of the ocean right here it, it reveals this and 
the thing is is that in my last video I showed you that gouged out area over Africa and hopefully in my next video I'm going to show you how those gouged out marks correlate to this area right here because all the features around the world are a recurring image of the same thing and that's that's how I know that when I have the truth on my side that I can't lose in the end well only ignorance can beat <laughs> win over truth but I mean who wants that so anyways I want to show you what what's going on here and let's see how I can do this this is going to be difficult on my part hopefully you guys can see it but I'm going to show you how things realign over and over again and they expose the truth and uh, let me see how I'm going to do that So, you know that, okay, there's a lot going on here, so I'm going to break it down one at a time so that we can figure this out. There, first of all, there's a strangeness here, a high strangeness of this part right here, which is this part, having this, the same distance and shape as this area right here you see that right you see how that kind of just fits around okay sometimes I just look at the size of things and that's enough for me to you know realize that there's a connection and you can almost see that there's similarities you know with these features that right here you can just tell your eyes should pick it up as it as they line up okay so there's something really satisfying when your eyes detect the alignments that's what it is and you know this area here is smooth smoothed out right here it looks like something has moved through something has happened here so I take this area here and I line it up and it does seem to be like other things line up see like this right here this area right here that comes to a point well you look up here and you can see where it may have just come to a point at but the Birkeley currents are moving through here. See the alignment? Like, they're faint ghost images of one another, but they still line up as I slide this through to get that point across to there. So, and then I can also see right, right here, when I move it further, it's going to fit into there. And I'm almost positive this is going to rotate. Look, right here, the islands, Cuba. This is the result of, you can see the twisting. You can see the twisting in the shape between these two features and, and Cuba. Now, to some people, this might be look. It might look like I'm grasping, but you'll see that I'm not. Okay, so I'm still working this out, by the way. So, you kind of bear with me. You're, you're kind of seeing the process in action. But look at the 
now these marks are starting to tell another story too. This is all related. What's going on is these multiple things are all actually happening at the same time, but I have to show you uh, image by image. So you just have to bear with me. Look at the similarities. And, you know, so, so let me get this right, hopefully. You can see it, how it's matching coastlines here, hitting Florida and bending around it. It's twisting here where, where Cuba is. This might even be coming up at the same time. These might be collapsing together for all I know. But look at Cuba again. You can see, just see the twisting going on. That that island uh, in Cuba, that nice round island right here, is the result of spinning. Of course, anything that's round, it's going to be the result of spinning. That's how it became round. And you could just see. And then as I connect those, you see the island and the roundness. And of course, I already know that this is related to the Eye of the Sahara. Because that was here at the time too. But it's all spread apart. Now... You can see the twisting going on. It's almost like a worm drive. Look at Florida. Yeah, look, really look at Florida. The twisting that broke apart. You can tell that this is, it needs to, you can tell that this is opening or closing either way, one of the two. It's, it's moving in like a, like a, like you're opening a po uh, pocket knife. And then you can see the features down here still lining up right and still lining up over here believe it or not wrapping around I know some of you can see how amazing this is actually this is actually freaking amazing because now this is the part where the trolls start screaming at their monitor I'm going to show you the Amazon discharge pattern, which is also related to this. Because how many giant round circles do you know on this planet that happen to be the exact same size? And when I mean exact, I mean exact. Exactly. Right? See the roundness right here? See the the electrical discharge that water has filled in and we call it the Amazon River now? See how it fits the features in a miracle? Our lizard guy up here? Features down here. See how it continually matches over and over again? Q 
Cuba, the twisting of Cuba. See how it matches the, it, it's not a coincidence. This is more than a coincidence. This is like winning the lottery thousands of times over and over again. The roundness here. See the Birkeland Current Mountains again? And you know this is twisting because you know if I spin this around, it's going to fit again. So let me just zoom out so we can get another view. And this is rotating, by the way. So this is going to... Like I said, when people have told me that things don't fit, well, you can take this and you can rotate it and it's going to keep fitting. So I don't know how that's possible if I can rotate this and make it fit over and over again in different ways. And I can flip it around and make it fit again. So when people tell me that they don't fit, that's when I say prove it because I already know they can't. But you can see right here, see how it fits into there? And you can see the wrapping around. See how it just naturally hits the coastlines too? You could say this is spinning through. Do you see it yet? Because it's matching over here. You see these tooth-like uh, features right here? Well, imagine this spinning right here as it's hitting those. See the size? This is spinning through. See, and then see the alignment here. And you could say that all this spinning was taking place in the Gulf of Mexico. It's gouging. It's it's what gouged it out. But but it's come out of there, so I have to match it up over and over again in other areas, even though this is all taking place in here. You can see it's been scattered and pulled apart. And these subduction zones, well, they may be moving this way, but it's just temporary because this planet is expanding. So the movement coming this way has to be settling after a massive cataclysm. And you can bet that civilizations flourish between cataclysms on this planet reoccurring cataclysms of expansion you can see the expansion in the features on the ocean floor if you just look at it correctly without the bias of plate tectonics see in your mind if this plate's coming here and going under there well none of this can exist so your mind just blocks it out it can't see it. Well, if, at least for like geologists and scientists, they can't see this because this can't be there because this is, to them, this is going under here. But it's temporary. 
it's almost so simple that it's uh, it's unbelievable. See how it fits again? You can tell this is splitting apart right here. The the this is why I keep thinking that the planet has reversed its rotation. And it's what caused these Birkeland currents to to pull apart right here, I think. But look at my evidence. The alignments that align over and over again. Like here, look. Right? And then you see Florida is part of this twisting and breaking away. Look, you take a good look at, okay, right here, the shape, the twisting, but now, if I'm so crazy and wrong, why does this fit into there like that? You could tell that this is like a a snapshot of movement. See, I have that's the funny thing is I have to show you in, in different areas. But if I was to put them together, you would actually see the motion of the creation of our planet right here. And like I said, all this that's taking place here in the Gulf of Mexico and stuff, this is going to play out in those gouged out areas over Africa. I, across the ocean. So you tell me if you think plate tectonics is actually accurate. It's only accurate in describing what they're seeing in the moment. But that, that bias prevents them from seeing the stuff that I'm showing you right now. It's that simple. Um, thanks for watching.